Hey there, true believers. You're in the right spot as we discuss the Southern Belle of Mississippi. That's right, the X-Men 97 rogue action figure has been unleashed. We're diving into the world of Marvel Legends and Mutants with this fantastic addition to the X-Men 97 lineup. But why are we so interested in this Southern beauty? What charm does she hold over us? to constantly seek out her action figures. Over the next five minutes, we are going to explore these questions and find our answers. Are you ready? Yup! What do you think of when I say yellow and green paired with a sassy southern accent? And who can forget that skunk stripe running through that light brown hair? In just three easy points, I easily and quickly describe Rogue to not only longtime X-Men fans, but people just getting introduced into either the animated series or the comic book series. This figure does an excellent job of marrying all these traits and bringing excitement to the foreground and imagination to our minds, captivating us with her charm. But what if I asked you what really makes Rogue so special? Is it because she stands just shy of six inches tall? Or is it because she's crafted from high quality plastic incorporating several points of articulation, perfect for posing or making her ready to take action against the Brotherhood or Sentinels alike? Does knowing this drive you to add her to your collection? Well, maybe the best way to answer these questions is to get her out of the package and check her out firsthand. What do you say? While we're at it, tell me in the comments below why Rogue is one of your favorite characters and if this figure is your favorite release so far. Here we go, right out of the packaging, we can see she has the ability to turn her head in a full 360, as well as looking both up and down. Around her upper chest is part of her coat, made from a soft plastic that gives us the freedom necessary to move her at her upper torso. She spins left and right and has some movement both forward and backwards. Her shoulders can come up from the sides and spin around in a full 360. The upper part of her arm is molded to match her jacket. But at the elbow, the mold changes to reflect her actual suit. Her elbows are single joints and tinless. At the wrist, she can spin a full 360 and her hands have horizontal bends. Speaking of hands, she has two pairs, a gloved fist and an open bare hand for her right side. And her left has a gloved fist and a hand holding the glove meant for her bare right hand. Rogue doesn't have a waist turn, but her hip joints allow for the splits as well as forward and some backward movement. There is a thigh turn on both legs and double jointed pinless knees. Her articulation ends at the ankles allowing movement both pointing up and down, as well as a swivel for left and right. Looking past the articulation, let's take a moment to talk about Rogue's overall design. Simplicity at its core, but detailed where it counts. One could say that her outfit, albeit accurate to the show, is simple in its color scheme. But outside of that simple yellow and green, we have components that make up her coat, which is a much darker green than that of her suit the same dark green that matches her belt. Now look past the simplicity of that design, look closer to the true details of the figure, her face. Her eyes, while green, have white accents for depth and shine. Rogue also has red for her lipstick, a perfect skin tone that seems to imply the possibility of blush on her cheeks. This is what brings out the Southern beauty in this Rogue figure, the perfect mix of subtlety in the detail. One not being sacrificed for the other, working together, creating that charm I spoke of at the beginning of the video. This rogue figure is sure to impress casual and hardcore collectors alike. And because we are impressed, we are driven to seek out this rogue figure for our collections. This figure does exactly what it's designed to do. Bring collectors back to their childhood. Just like when they would get home from school to watch X-Men the Animated Series in 1992, but also introduce a new generation of fans to its beloved characters in the new X-Men 97 animated series. Of course, no rogue figure is complete without everyone's favorite Cajun, so subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell so you can be the first to know when my review of X-Men 97 Gambit goes live. Until next time, true believers, 
stay nerdy. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for more epic toy reviews and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep those figures posing and those collections growing. This is Joel from Talking Toys signing.